In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to create a presentation in ArcGIS Pro. Presentation functionality was added with ArcGIS Pro 3.3, so you're going to need to have at least version 3.3 or above uh, to be able to create presentations in ArcGIS Pro. And, and we're going to keep this, this pretty simple, but uh, just kind of walk you through the process of creating a presentation in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, you'll notice I've got a project uh, already created in Pro called California Wildfires. And as part of this project, I have a number of different maps. These maps are quite simple. Um, if you open up any of these maps, you'll notice that um, I have California fire perimeters for a specific year, in this case 2017, and then I've got the same maps but with different layers for 2018 all the way through 2021. And then I've got a specific map for the Dixie fire that occurred in 2021 as well. Uh, but each of these maps are, are quite similar. Uh, they all contain a single layer uh, along with a base map. That layer uh, will contain the fire perimeters for that year. And you can see that uh, these fire perimeters um, are symbolized with kind of a pinkish type color. And you can see uh, the perimeters of those fires um, in the state of California here. And then, of course, I have the base map as well. Uh, now, to create a presentation in ArcGIS Pro, as I said earlier, you do need at least version 3.3. Uh, but assuming you have that, uh, you can go to the Insert tab, and you should see a new presentation button. And when you click on that button, uh, it will add a new presentation to your catalog pane. You can see I've already created a presentation here called California Wildfire Presentation. And uh, so anytime you click that new presentation button on the insert tab, it'll create a new presentation and add it to the catalog. And then that presentation becomes part of your project. Now, to simplify things a little bit, I've already created the basic structure of this presentation. I'll go ahead and open that now. And uh, you can see it has just a single slide right now. Uh, this is basically going to be my title page. And you can see that it, of course, has a title, subtitle, and just an image uh, that's part of that particular uh, page that's part of the presentation. Now, um, when you're creating a presentation in ArcGIS Pro, you can have a number of different uh, page types. Uh, of course, the predominant page type will be maps, and that can be 2D maps or 3D uh, scenes. And so any map that's any map or scene that's part of your project uh, can be added as a, uh, a page in your presentation. And, and so that's the predominant type of page that you might create in a presentation. This particular slide is what we call a blank slide. Uh, and a blank slide gives you the ability to kind of create your own slide, right? And so it typically it includes things like annotation, uh, might include images, um, tech, you know, different types of text, and maybe some logos or, or things of that nature. Um, but that's another type. Now, when I click the Insert Page button, it's going to display a number of different options in the Insert New Page dialog. So we have Map, Blank, Image, and Video. So these are the types of pages that you can create uh, that are part of your presentation. Now, when you go to Map, it will essentially list all of the maps that are part of your project. So if you kind of scroll through here, you'll notice that I have a number of different maps, and the text is kind of cut off on these. Uh, but these all correspond to the different maps that are part of your project. And so for each map, you're going to have a default extent, much like you would have with a layout. So each of these maps, as I scroll through it, you'll notice has a default extent. Uh, if any of your maps have a bookmark or bookmarks, those will show up here as well. So you can see that I have a bookmark uh, here as well. And then other things you'll see include if you and if you have an active map, um, that active map, whatever the map, current map schedule is for that map, that will show up here as well. So you'll see a number of different options here. And uh, what you'll do, you know, if you want to select a map, is just uh, simply select the type of map you want to create. So in this case, if I want to add a map for California wildfire perimeters for 2017, you simply double click on it. And then you've got essentially a new page that becomes part of your presentation. And uh, now you can change it. We'll show you how to kind of change the extent later, but you can you can also uh, the, these become interactive slides as well. So you do have the ability to change the spatial extent uh, after the fact as well. All right. So on that insert page uh, dialog box again, you're going to have map, which again can be 2D maps or 3D maps. You can filter it uh, should you need to do that. Under blank, this is where you have the ability to insert a blank slide or a blank page to your presentation and that's you know slide one that we have as part of this presentation uh, was originally a, a blank page right and so you might have it be completely blank you might include a page with uh, a space for a title uh, you might have a title and a paragraph um, and so 
you know, a lot of, a lot of different options here. And once you have created any of these different blank page types, you can add all sorts of content uh, that includes text, uh, different types of shapes, um, picture files, logos, things of that sort. So you do have uh, other options other than just adding in text, uh, which is kind of the default functionality. Uh, under image, this gives you the ability to reference an image source, and uh, you can then use that image as part of a page or, or as an entire page as part of the presentation. Same idea with video, right? All you're doing here with video is you're defining a page that includes a video. And so we'll look at all the different page types here uh, as we go through this presentation. So I'm gonna go back to map. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add one page for each of the years. So I've already done 2017. I need to do 2018, but you'll notice that uh, I don't have a specific map scale that shows up here. Uh, I think I do for all the others. Yeah, I do. So I'm going to have to, before I add this, I need to open up the 2018 map. There's the 2018 map. And if I go back to my presentation, go to insert page. Now, if I go down to the year 2018, it should be this one. Now you'll see that I have uh, a default map scale, whatever the current map scale is for that particular map. So I'll double click on that. That adds a new page. So now I have pages for 2017, one for 2018. And then I'll just go ahead and finish this off. So I had one for 2019, which this should be it. That was 2020. Let's so find the right one here. There's 20, 2019. And then we need to do 2020. So the process is the same, right? We're just adding in one page for our presentation for each year by referencing different maps. Next thing I'll need to do here is add 2021. And at this point, I have one page for each year in the series, starting with 2017, going all the way through 2021. Now, one of the things I might want to do here is I might want to add in some text for this page that indicates that all these maps look pretty much the same. So you probably want to add in some sort of indicator as to the year. And so I can do that by going to the Insert tab. And on the Insert tab under Elements, uh, you're going to find a number of different elements that you can add uh, to your page. And so in this particular instance, I want to add uh, some rectangular text. So I'll click on that, draw in the location. And then I'm going to switch over uh, to my title. Oops, wrong one. Properties, and then we'll alter the text here to say California. Wrong one there. Let's go to text. Oh, and California wildfire perimeters for 2017. And you can see how it changes that here. Uh, you probably also want to change in the background color. So I'll change that to white. Right. And then you can kind of repeat this process, um, you know, for each of the maps. I'm not going to go, you know, just to kind of keep things simple here, I'm not going to go through the full process for every single uh, page, but you can very easily duplicate this uh, by going to the 2018 slide, pasting it, and then going back to my text, changing that to 2018. All right, and, and then again, you would just kind of repeat that process. We'll go ahead and do this. This is fairly simple, so I'll go ahead and repeat that process real quick here. Paste it again. Nineteen. Twenty. And finally, 2021. So at this point, I have maps for 2017 through 2021. Each map is a little bit different, right? It contains the wildfire perimeters for that particular year. Uh, now, the other thing I might want to do here is I've got a map here for a specific fire called the Dixie Fire. 
And if you open that up, this is actually the parameters for the Dixie fire. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a slide for the Dixie fire. And so I'll go to insert page. Again, go to map. And then we'll take, uh, this should be Dixie fire. And in this case, I'm going to add in a little bit of additional information. So I might want to add in an arrow that points to the boundaries of that fire. So I had an arrow. Uh, you can also add in things like logo. So for example, uh, if I click on this picture icon, uh, that's going to bring up a dialog box that allows me to insert a picture. And I actually have a logo here for Cal Fire. I'll double click on that. Find location. And so you can add a logo. And then I'm also going to add in just a little piece of text here that says that this is the Dixie Fire. And so you can annotate these maps however you want. Let's leave that as is. So these are all examples of inserting uh, pages that include maps. I, I don't have any 3D maps that are part of this project, but if you have any 3D maps, which are called scenes, those can be added uh, as pages in your presentation, just like a 2D map. Um, and then to kind of round this off, what we're going to do is add in uh, an image page. So I'll go to insert page. Uh, image, and then under image source, I have a PNG file here called wildfire chart, and this is basically a bar chart that contains uh, wildfire burn information, number of acres burned through the years. So I'll double click on that, hit insert, and now I've got a new page that contains an image file that's entitled Growing Danger of California Wildfires. It's basically just a bar chart uh, that uh, shows annual acreage. Uh, for the years that uh, we've been looking at here, 2017 through 21, as well as some other years as well. So uh, you do have the ability to insert slides that contain image files as well uh, to give uh, your presentation a little bit more information should you need to do so. And then finally, we're going to insert a video on for a new page. So same process here as image. You're just simply going to point to uh, the video file, which in this case is an MP4 and hit insert. And now I've got a uh, video. It's not playing right now, but you'll see uh, when we run through uh, the uh, the playback, you'll see that this, uh, this video file will actually start playing when we reach this uh, slide. So at this point, I've got nine slides and these slides represent all the different types. So remember that we have blank, a map, image, and video. The first slide, is an example of a blank file, right? So it's got text, it's got an image, and it basically allows you to kind of build out that, that particular slide however you want by adding in text and images and uh, basically anything that you see under insert and then these elements, right? So any of the items that you see here are fair game to be inserted into a blank page. Slides two through seven, those are all examples of map, uh, which is this. And then of course the last two were image and video pages. So that kind of rounds out our presentation. I'm going to go ahead and save my project at this point. Um, and then you're going to notice that as part of the project, because I have pres a presentation as the active view, you're going to see that there's a presentation tab that becomes part of the RJS Pro interface. And when you click on that, that's going to display a set of buttons and tools related to working with the presentation. So uh, there are tools here for navigating your presentation. So zooming in, zooming out, things of that nature. Uh, under elements, you have the ability to select elements, clear, uh, delete elements, clear the selection, rotate and flip, merge shapes. You can change your aspect ratio. And then you've got a button on the far right hand side that allows you to play back your presentation. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on the full screen playback. And what it will do at this point is just take you into a playback mode for your presentation. And it'll start with the first slide, which again is just sort of my title page. And then down at the bottom, you've got some tools here that allow you to navigate through the presentation. So if you click on the Show Next Page button, that then takes you to the next page in the presentation, which in this case is California Wildfire Permit for 2017. Now, anytime you have a map uh, as the active page, uh, this is not a static map. So I can use my mouse to zoom out, to zoom in. I can pan if I need to. So this is not a static page. It is a, a dynamic page that allows you to zoom in and zoom out as needed on the currently active map. 
Right. And so then I can go to 2018, 2019, and we just kind of cycle through the different years here. And so you see how valuable this can be as a presentation tool, uh, especially with this ability to, to be able to dynamically alter uh, you know, the, the spatial extent of the map. Now, when we go to the next page, that'll take us to the Dixie Fire page. And again, there's your additional annotation there with your logo, the arrow. Uh, and so just doing some little different capabilities there. And if you click to the next slide, then that will take you to the slide that contains your bar chart. Pretty self-explanatory. And then the last page will display the video. And you notice how when you're in interactive playback mode, it actually plays the video here as part of your presentation. And of course, you can go back and forward should you need to do that as well. And then if you need to break out of the playback mode, you just click escape on your keyboard and that takes you out of the presentation playback mode. All right, so um, that kind of brings us to the end of what I wanted to cover for this particular demonstration. I hope you've learned a lot here, but uh, you know, the whole idea here is just to kind of show you how to create a presentation uh, in ArcGIS Pro. And again, you do need version 3.3 of ArcGIS Pro to be able to do this. So as long as you're using 3.3 or above, you should be good to be able to, to use this functionality. And it's a pretty simple process for adding in pages to your presentation. And then in a future demonstration, I'll show you how to export uh, the presentation to a number of formats. So you can export these out to movie files, to image files, to PDF files, uh, animated GIFs. So you do have the ability to export these out uh, to a variety of formats as well. But we'll cover that in a uh, in an upcoming demonstration. So I appreciate you joining me for this demonstration and uh, we'll see you next time.